Hey everyone, welcome back to the Duchess of Unicorn YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here guys. It is Monday and I am going to be doing videos a little bit more frequent just because we're getting ready to have an election. I surprisingly had found a way to go ahead and vote uh, early and I'm quite happy, proud that I have done that. Now, um... I wanted to quickly say thank you to all my subscribers. I am in a, I don't know, I guess it's my goal to increase viewage and raise subscriptions and have people tuning into my videos. But, you know, at the end of the day, if, you know, next year it doesn't seem that I have the 5,000 viewers that I want by January or February, then, you know, I can always reach out to you guys and see if together, perhaps, maybe we can increase viewership. Uh, so I hope you're having a blessed day and let's get right into it. The disclaimer is in the description box. As always, it's just my opinion here. I like to share my opinion because a lot of us have opinions on Meghan Markle and mostly the things that she's doing, not so much her per se, but what things that she is showing us in the, um, on online let's say and when she shows up to do interviews which isn't very rarely i have yet to see anything where she's just on like the morning today show when she starts doing that stuff wow but what we're seeing is a lot of work with individuals through often enough harry walker agency since she signed on okay and we know that signing on to that agency has increased her her payroll and uh, I think that's what this is all about, leaving UK, getting rid of her title. It's not that important. She can be all so much better and more important here in the United States. Let's just keep in mind that she's not 36 or 38, but she's more like 45. And her age every year goes higher and higher. But it's even better for her when she is, in fact, 38, the fake 38. In my opinion, it's just my opinion. Um, but there's plenty of people who have pounded in and let me know that yes, she is not 36 or 38. Okay, I think it's Prince Williams that's now 36. But anyway, time seems to roll forward, doesn't it people really, really fast. Let's get to this. I found this MSN thing. I'll put the link in the description box. So seven minutes ago, hey, remember when Meghan Markle just, you know, took baby Archie and left Prince Harry alone? No, a lot of people don't think that she left. Some people think that she has left. Well, Gossip Cop said they busted that story at the time, but it's even sillier in hindsight. So here, Gossip Cop is putting it back on our plate to think about. A, f an, a fight uh, to end all fights. So the Duke and Duchesses filed their lawsuits against the Mail on Sunday and in touch seemingly responded by saying the media criticism was taking a devastating toll on Meghan Markle. Please. I don't think so. <laughs> All the scrutiny led to the worst fight ever between her and Prince Harry. The fight ended with Markle walking out with Archie, poor little guy, if he even exists, you know, leaving the prince alone to contend with his family. Straight up, it's made up. That's what Gossip Cop says. It doesn't need to tell you it never happened. Markle's frustrations with the tabloid press exemplified by this deceitful and hateful article. So again, I'll have a link to this article. And when you hit the, that link, you'll, you know, you'll have fresh articles on the live link. So they obviously would like to dislike tabloids. But, you know, I don't really think Meghan Markle dislikes tabloids. I think that her idea of her whole life from when she was a child is to be famous. Now, my other question is, is when at what time did Meghan Markle become who she is to decide, like who put her in a place where they positioned Meghan Markle to become princess of a British royal family, especially a black princess. Now, I know everybody likes to say how white she is, but when we see her behavior and we see how she acts, we definitely relate that to other things. We don't see this white girl doing this. We see a black girl doing this. That's what I see. I see a woman with black in her and she is constantly trying to downplay it by not really showing up for the fight but yet she wants to be black lives matter you know megan sit down megan markle sit down black lives matter is not your fight 
and you'll never see her out in our public speaking about it unless it's just going to touch upon the topic. So honestly, kind of annoying. But whatever came out of this lawsuit, Meghan Markle's lawsuit against the mail on Sunday, which triggered this story, has been back in the news recently. Herself and Prince Harry are set to return to England by for the trial for the, for next year. By the end of this year, they're going back to England to start, uh, I guess, attending this trial and all the other weird stuff. And I think that's kind of why Prince Harry kind of took off now to go back to England to do whatever he has to do, which gives him a break from Megan and all her publicity and all that other stuff that we know that she is behind. Um, this big English return has sparked a whole new wave of bogus tabloid stories. You can click on that link when you get this link in the description box. So the tabloid is out of touch with Royals. This is hardly a time in touch printed a bogus story about the Duchess of Sussex. It claimed Middleton and Markle were pregnant at the same time in July, went ahead and published that story almost verbatim. And a few months later, actually a few months after that, neither Markle nor Middleton is pregnant. And it's just plain lazy to reprint the same cover story every three months. Now, tell me, you guys, what do you think of some of these uh, tabloids, so-called tabloids? I didn't call them tabloid. This article does. What do you think of these print machines putting out fake articles saying Megan's pregnant and Middleton's pregnant and they weren't even pregnant. You guys would see that because you're in the UK. I didn't even, I have never seen that. So let me know what you think. And of course, we see the classic example of bias against the Duchess of Sussex. The tablet claimed Meghan Markle wanted the monarchy to end after the queen dies. A classic tabloid tell-all story that never came to fruition because According to you and me, the queen is still alive. Now, I haven't seen the queen. You haven't seen the queen. But they keep showing us photos online that the queen is doing an event. I feel we have to look a little deeper and we should not believe everything that was shown, right? Because if I show you anything here, you'll definitely say, oh, no, I that's not true. Or, or maybe it is true. But what I'm telling you is we have to question some of the things we hear and see and that's perfectly fine i in fact encourage it obviously Meghan markle and prince harry are still together with archie who we never see but people want to insert his name into stories so the story was silly at the time and even sillier now okay so gossip cops as the verdict is it's been determined that the whole story is indeed a fake all right everybody I'm going to end it there. I will see you in the next video. All links will be in the description as usual. I love you guys. And thank you so much for being here with me, even in this little tiny story like this one. I'll be back with more Megan news and have a great day. Have a blessed great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.